Now, the name in Māori literally means fat and round due to this and their unique appearance and sociable nature. They've become a much-loved Kiwi pet. To tell us more about the Kuni Kuni Pig, I'm joined in the Harvey Norman Lounge by breeder Debbie Clark and Toby. Morning, Debbie. Hello. This is little Toby. He just yes. stood on my shoes before, but he is quite gorgeous. So tell me a little bit about, about Toby. So Toby was born in October, so he's about five months old. Um, he is um, from a litter of about five pigs. Um, Kuni pigs normally have these days smaller litters um, than bigger pigs, so the, the average is around six per litter now. He loves his little his food, doesn't he? Yeah, there's something, if, you, if a pig doesn't eat, there's something wrong with him. So, he, so he's <laughs> a few months old at the moment. How big do they actually grow? Right, so that's what I really wanted to come along and tell people today, because you wouldn't believe how many people contact me when they're two years old going, I can't deal with this pig anymore. I've got to get rid of it, it's breaking out, or right. I didn't realise. So they grow about up to knee height yep. and about a metre long, so they can get quite big. And they're like a little barrel, aren't they? They're yes, pretty solid. So it's shown by this clock here, so one of our members makes these clocks, and um, this is a good shape, and you can even see the little tassel on there, because Toby doesn't have tassels. Yeah, because they do, they have these funny, I saw some on the weekend, they have these funny little things coming up from underneath them. I won't tell you what my son said that they, he thought that they were, <laughs> but he didn't think that they were tassels, we should so say that. So in Māori, the word is pity pity. Um, so it's a bit like people having, some people have earlobes and some people yeah. don't. Um, so some people have, some pigs, sorry, well we think they're pigs are people. <laughs> um, some, some of them have two, some have one, and some have none. So, yeah. Are they sociable creatures, Kuni Kuni Absolutely. Pigs? Absolutely. Do they make good pets? They are beautiful pets. They are um, great little orchard pigs. You never have any wasps in your orchard with these guys around. Oh, that's awesome. Now, this may sound a bit wrong of me, but do they make good eating? They do, actually. <laughs> I feel terrible for asking that, but I'm just... No, they do. Now, the, diff the problem is that because the fat is marbled through the meat, um, they don't actually make good bacon. Okay. Hams are okay. Um, it's extremely tasty. I mean, pigs do take on the flavour of um, whatever they eat. So, you know, the traditional <laughs> suckling pig with the apple in their mouth. Right. So, um, I believe in the World War II and in Britain, they fed them on fish, so all the pigs tasted of fish. Oh, wow. So, okay, we'll get off eating them now because people <laughs> in my ear go, oh, yuck. Um, but they are really, really cute. Where do they actually come from? Well, we don't actually know. They're related to the um, um, Chinese pot belly pig. So we think they came from Asia. They didn't come with the Māori in their canoes, but they are pre-European, and they have been here for as long as the Captain Cooker, if not mm. longer. So um, the Māori, they were never in the South Island. They were only in the North Island, um, and between sort of Taran Taranaki and the East Coast. And what the Māori would do, would, would it was they would keep the sows in one valley and the boars, boars in another until it was time to mate. Wow, now this was worked all right for a while, but of course they nearly became extinct, didn't they? Yes, yeah, so in ago. the 1970s we were down to about 10 pigs. And a couple of people who do deserve a mention, John Simister and Michael Willis, set up some wildlife parks and decided to rescue our Kuni Kuni pig. Right. And it's a remarkable comeback for a little pig. They're now represented in 10 countries. So they're mainly pets, that's why people get yes. them. Uh, but you do need to have a big outdoor space for them or an outdoor space for them because yeah. they do grow quite big. Yeah. So it's best to have two. The very best combination is to have two neutered males. I always neuter my boys before I sell them. Mostly because, not because I'm a dog breeder, like dog breeders want to mm. limit the breeding. It's just that, like I said before, when people's circumstances change and they want to rehome them, um, you can't really yeah. rehome a boar. Yeah. So if they're neutered, they're much better. So two boys together is best, um, or a boy and a girl. So Girls, are they good with kids? They're great with kids. They're very sociable. Um, they love scratch. I don't know if he's going to do his little party trick here. Um, and um, they are very placid, so they don't attack people okay. like other pigs can do. They okay. don't bite. Oh, he's lovely. I've um, liked having they Toby do, in. They do have very poor eyesight, so 
um, it's really important to either hand feed, not to hand feed them like I've been dropping the food on the ground right. for him because they can't tell the difference right. between fingers and food. Okay, so don't put your fingers near a kuni kuni pig mm. snout. Well, he's been, thank you for bringing Toby in. I've absolutely yeah. loved having him in the studio. We haven't had a pig in before. This is a first for us. So I hear. Thank you so much, <laughs> Debbie. Now, for more information on the kuni kuni and for a breeder's directory, you can go to the New Zealand Kuni Kuni Association website. And now to our pet of the week. Congratulations to Scooter, who managed to tuck himself into bed all by himself. Oh, that's quite cute, isn't it? Oh, it's not a pig, but it's a cute cat. Uh, $50 to spend for you at petpost.co.nz. It's on its way to you, actually, Liam. And if you'd like to enter your pet, just upload a pic to our Facebook page.